If you're processing data, drone data for 2D maps or 3D models, you might have come across a situation where you process a 3D model and then you tap on one of the images in the model and the image that you tapped on does not align very well with the model. Why does that happen? We'll have a look in this video. Hey everyone, I'm Varun, the founder and CEO at Hammer Missions. And in this video, what I want to do is I want to explain why sometimes your 2D images don't map or align very well with your 3D model uh, with respect to drone data. So what I'm going to do is try to explain a little bit more about how a 3D model is created. A 3D model for drone data is created using a technique called photogrammetry. And in photogrammetry, there is a very important step that the software takes, and that is alignment. And in this step, what happens is, all of the 2D images that you take with the drone, they are essentially uh, cross-referenced and features between these 2D images are found, which allows the software to understand which of these 2D images actually agree on where the object is in 3D space. So, as you can imagine, depending on the data set that you upload, some of these images align really well and others don't. And therefore, if you have captured a data set of, let's say, a thousand images, not all thousand images get aligned and used to create a 3D model. So, what can you do in such scenarios? Um, essentially, what I want to talk about is the idea that you need to ensure that your data set that you're using to capture and process high quality 3D models is as good as possible and as many of those images align to be able to produce a final result. This is not only useful from the perspective of having a good mapping between what was captured and what images were aligned and what you can see in the model, but also just you want to be able to use all of your input to be able to create those 3D models. So uh, essentially, I want to talk about uh, what you can do to maximize the number of aligned images. So number one, uh, you need to make sure that all of the images you capture have, have high overlap between them. When you have high overlap between images, what happens is the software is able to find many more features and therefore cross correlate many more images and therefore you're giving the software more opportunity to be able to create these 3D models and align as many images as possible. Secondly, it's important to make sure that you minimize the number of similar looking images or similar looking patterns. Um, this can happen quite a lot for a lot of the uh, man-made structures. So for example, a lot of windows can look the same. Um, reflective surfaces like water and or, or um, other, so other things like uh, trees can look very similar. So if you have a lot of that in your data set, you can try to ensure that your drone is essentially a bit further away from the subjects so you're able to capture a lot more of the scene and minimize the number of images that look very similar to each other. So those are just two of the many things that you can keep into account to increase the number of images that align and increase uh, basically what looks like the alignment between the 3D model and the 2D images in the post-processing. Um, so hopefully that explains uh, a little bit more about the alignment and, and how the images are used to be able to create 3D models. Uh, to help with this, what we're doing in Hammer Missions is that We've introduced a new mode where uh, anyone using Hammer Missions to create 3D models is able to see not only the captured images, but also the aligned images. So if your particular use case is, let's say, inspection of a facade, and you want to be able to look at that, that um, third window on the fourth story of a building, you can click on the model and that particular aligned image and go to that particular bit in the facade instantly. Uh, and you can do that because you know you're working with the aligned images. But at the same time, we also are exposing all of the captured images so that you can also see what was captured versus what was aligned and what is finally available for the end customer or stakeholder to use. So if you're a drone pilot or an in-house drone team member capturing data and processing that into 3D models for somebody else to use, uh, this particular concept could be something really important to keep in mind. Um, it just allows you to produce a much better, higher quality data set and improve your workflows. Um, hopefully this video was interesting. Give us a like. 
Um, and if, uh, if you think other people might benefit from watching this video, do share this video with them as well. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next episode of Knowledge Hub.